for the sign of Leo hello and welcome to my channel just keep in mind the bottom cards are paired with the top cards I'll be going through the past present challenge and outcome so Leo's in the recent past we have the Knight of Wands now when the Knight of Wands appear in a reading, this is a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. Now, in the past, you should have been feeling charged up, full of energy, and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence was likely to be increasing, and this should have helped you towards your goals. Now keep in mind that the Knights, they're often message bearers. The messages are likely to be positive and related to work or career, but it doesn't have to mean that. Your projects were likely to be or have been more successful than you would have expected or predicted. You had a lot of reasons to feel pride, so savor it. And that's what you did. This card is paired with the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning can be started by a separation of some kind. It could be from a relationship or from a job situation. But just know that anxiety producing things such as this, such as new beginnings, um, just know that underneath it all, it's beneficial energy that is getting you to where you wanted to go in the recent past. Now the Ace of Swords, it calls on us to not be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. And that's in the recent past. Now we move on to the present, the Three of Swords. So although at this time, there could be an element of sorrow that is undeniable, what lies on the other side of this sorrow, it can be enhanced by understanding and joy. So if you're experiencing some sort of depression, sorrow, or pain, go ahead and fully experience it. If it comes up, if this refers to you, if this feeling, if these feelings come up, go ahead and, and spirit experience it. Uh, I kind of want to say go ahead and embrace it. Uh, let it come in so that you can move beyond it. Now, this card, it also points to very deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you can really move on. Now, if you try to deny any pain, if you do that, it won't make it go away. So allow yourself to experience it once again, but don't wallow in it. You don't and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow or depression for any long periods of time. However, only you can decide how long is long enough and others won't be able to do that for you. And then this card is paired with the temperance card. Now, the temperance card, in general, or basically... Uh, your relationships, they're likely to be going well. You may need to look at your deep personal issues to see if or how these are standing in your way. And if they are, find out how to work through them and integrate them. Now, the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with the goals and aspirations that you may have. And with these two cards paired together, the Three of Swords, 
is about an element of sorrow, pain, or depression. Um, some deep emotional issues that need to be addressed. Don't bury it, just embrace it and uh, work on it. Don't wallow in it, don't let it go on forever. Uh, deal with it, like I said, you have to embrace it and try not to avoid it, but you need to um, work on it. And it's paired with the temperance card, which is also about deep personal issues. So some of you may be kind of going through it right now. Uh, this may not be for everyone. Um, uh, both of them are pretty much saying you have to work through the issues that you have and integrate them. Find balance. And then once you do that, you, you'll be able to reach your goals and aspirations. So that's going to be the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the justice card. Now this deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with, however, is a direct result of your own actions. Just keep in mind, sometimes you'll be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. And this can sometimes be just as difficult and demanding as when you're up against something that is completely of your own making. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. If you are directly involved in something like a court case, uh, when this card comes up, the justice card, it will likely be resolved in your favor, at least in a large degree. And the justice card is paired with a ten of wands. Now with this card, you're probably feeling as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load either literally literally or figuratively so what you need to do is well if you look carefully you may find that part of the burden that you're carrying actually belongs to someone else so it will be important for you to pace yourself now don't try to take on too much because it's really not your burden if you if you think about it it's probably not your own worries it's probably not not your problem but you're just taking on you're more than likely taking on someone else's problem okay so with these two cards paired together the justice card is about karma things coming back to you your, whatever you put out is now coming back to you and um, don't blame yourself unnecessarily if something is coming back to you that's completely not from something that you you have done um, if you're in a court case it's going to be um, one in your favor because that's what the justice card is about and with the ten of wands paired with this you're feeling like you're carrying a heavy burden maybe you're worried about a court case um, some you feel like some some actions that happened in the past are coming back to hunt you from the justice card uh, if this is the case uh, you could be feeling burdened by it but uh, with a ten of wands what you need to do is remember that a lot of what you're burdened about uh, emotionally, it doesn't really belong to you. It's probably misplaced energy. It probably belongs to someone else, this burden that you're carrying. And if it is your burden, uh, try to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the emperor. 
Now, this card, it shows us that domination over mind, over heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not always wanted. So, when her choices must be made, it's important to main your it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. That's when her choices must be made. Maintain your concentration and focus. Because this card, it's an indicator that now is a time you should find it easier to make hard choices. You'll be feeling self-confident and it'll bring you focus. So forge, move ahead and do what you know is best. You'll be able to master yourself when you should have little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life throws at you. So once again, if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life throws at you. And the emperor is paired with the ace of cups, which is a very, very positive card in the tarot. It relates to love, happiness, and affection. So like all the aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in all other areas of life. So things are looking up. In general, people will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually at this time. You should be feeling good about life overall, and this is a great time to make friends. So with these two cards paired together, the emperor, it's a signal that now would be a heart. You probably find it, you'll probably find that with the emperor showing up in your reading, that now is a time you should find it easier to make hard choices. You'll be assertive and confident and self-control. That's what this card will bring you. So you need to forge ahead, move ahead, do what you know is best for your situation because it's paired with the Ace of Cups. Now this card, it, it's all about uh, happiness, love, affection, new beginnings. Uh, things are looking very, very bright and things are looking up. People will, will respond to you. People will be drawn to you. Um, they'll respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill. So if you did have a court case from the challenge, it looks like it turned out in your favor. And uh, from the challenge, you, you worked on the burdens that you had, and um, you dealt with it, and you gave it back, the burden. You gave it back to whoever it belonged to, if that's what you needed to do. Because the Ace of Cups, like I said, it's a very powerful, positive card in the, in the tarot. And that's going to be your outcome. So, Leo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. Watching and have a great day. Watching 